Okay, and your title here? Uh, my title is I'm the president of the Association of San Jose State. Okay, um, so tell me in a couple words what's going on in your region over here. So right now we're carrying a vigil for the three Muslim college-age students that were fatally shot in North Carolina a couple of nights ago, and we're here to come together and honor their lives. Now we've seen this, uh, a lot of people get shot, people might say it's uh, you know, if a person from another uh, the cop shots to someone, kills someone, yeah. it's maybe I'm just, uh, you know, you know interracial, whatever. Uh, what's your take on this, and why is this still going on here in, in, in the states? Uh, my perspective yes. on Muslims and Jewish people. What was the thing? What's your, uh, your take on all this? Why is this still happening here? Why is this still yeah. happening? Well, I believe that one major reason why this is still happening is that within the media and within our general society, there is still a negative stigma towards Muslims, and that we are perpetuated as those who um, are committing violence and whatnot. And I do believe that through awareness and through us coming here today, we can show that we do not whatsoever um, approve of this kind of activity. And how can we uh, change this? I believe the first step for us to change it is exactly what we're doing here today, coming together and leading by example that we do come in, mean, in peace and that Islam means peace. And by coming and gathering here today, answering questions and talking to each other, this is the first step. What is the message that you want to say out there to the people um, that are going to see this on TV? I think the message that, I, that is most important for people to know today, especially with this event, is that um, we as Muslims, we mean peace and that we are unified together and that we hope to move forward and to, to lower this stigma towards Muslims. I think it is important that we come together and join in the community. Are you saying that, that the people should stop uh, stereotyping? I do believe that stereotypes should be suppressed, yes. Okay. If there's anything that, uh, that from, from this that incident that, that we have learned, anything? Um, I think we have learned the power of social media and how within the news, how this was not per, um, amplified as largely as um, it should have been. And I do believe that it, this event shows the strength of the Muslim youth and the Muslim community as well as the entire social media and how important justice and peace is. So how do you feel as a person that, that did this kind of action towards uh, the other party. What's your thoughts on that? Um, I do believe that, that this uh, action that did occur is an action that did involve some sort of dispute between the two parties. I do believe that, that, there, that there was some hatred towards um, the other group, towards either Muslim or Arabs, whatever. Um, he was not uh, in sync with, but I do believe that there was a additional motive. Oh, excuse me, I have a quick question. Are you Gina? Yeah, Gina. Gina? Oh, Gina. Okay. And you represent too? Uh, I'm the president of the Muslim Student Association. The Muslims uh, around San Jose? Uh, in San Jose State University. Oh, San Jose State yes. University. Uh, I, I've been uh, listening a little bit, you know, about uh, uh, what happened two or three days ago. Yeah. Um, how do you feel? You think something is going on? <clears throat> is something is going to change? Or is something that you want to um, make your point? Yeah, I want to... Well, of course, when I first hear about this, my first reaction is sadness to know that these three individuals are around my age. You know, they are like my peers, they're like us. And it initially, it saddens me to know that these three in, in, um, intelligent, smart individuals that brought so much to the world that their light is now yeah. completely diminished. You know, they brought so much potential and so much great things to the world. Yeah. And I wanted us to all, all come here today to express their voice. Yeah. Yeah. And all the great things they did. Oh, okay, Gina. I believe you are right in that. Uh, you're a student. You are 
a hard feeling. The most the Muslim people, you know, had all the right in this country. I respect that. But you have to know, in in this country, you know, is a, is a full of Christians and Catholics and different, you know, and uh, religions. So, what I like to tell you is, is do you think you know, the Muslim people is moving forward in the United States? That Muslim. What do you mean by moving forward? Moving forward, so the community. In the, in the way, you know what, you are a student. Definitely. Yeah, you are Palestinian? Uh, no, I am Lebanese Mexican. Oh, you are Le Lebanese Mexican? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it's good to know. Yeah. Yeah, so do you, as I, do you speak Spanish? A little bit. A little bit, yeah. okay. But anyway, do you think you know, your community is moving forward in this country? or? Um, I do believe that we are moving forward, and every community is moving forward. You know, yeah. Everyone's progressing, everyone's trying to get ahead, and, and I think right now, we as Muslims, we're trying to progress ourselves in the best of light, yeah. you know, to show that Islam does mean peace and that we do want uh, to be shown in the correct way. Oh, okay. You know, um, I believe you, I respect that. I really congratulate you that you think that way. You know, to, we want to share everyone. Yeah. This is a free country, you know, yes, land yes. of freedom. And uh, that's why, you know, I asked you those questions, you know. Yeah, Jenny, thank you very much for your help. You know, I really appreciate it. And uh, um, I'll let you go. Right, thank, thank you. you. And Ray Perez. Thank you. You're welcome. It's, um, right now, it's going to start, you know, um, some um, um, the speech for the Muslim community from the... Um, uh, San Jose State University, Jenna, she's a uh, uh, Palestinian, um, sorry, um, it's a Muslim, a Mexican, and Lebanese. And um, she's going to address the people for a few minutes. And, and she's uh, very concerned what's going on right now. a little nervous up there anyway. She's uh, doing a great job in the um, in her interview. Students, um, uh, the name of the victims are is Yusar, De, and Rasan. Terms go crazy. Thank you all of you for coming tonight to show your concern and your and your love towards these individuals. 
Before we get started tonight, I wanted to have Ahmed recite in Arabic and in English some verses from the Quran, the holy Islamic book. Assalamualaikum everyone. I'll be reading from uh, chapter 2, verses 153 to 157. <laughs> بل أحياء ولكن لا تشعرون ولنبلونكم بشيء من الخوف والجوع ونقص من الأموال والأنفس والثمرات وبشر الصابرين الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا قالوا إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون أولئك عليهم صلوات من ربهم ورحمة وأولئك هم المهتدون Oh you who have believed seek help through patience and prayer indeed Allah is with the patient I do not say about those who are killed in the way of Allah, they are dead. Rather, they are alive, but you perceive it not. And we will surely test you with something of fear and hunger, and a loss of wealth and lives and fruits, but give good tidings to the patient, who, when disaster strikes them, say, Indeed, we belong to Allah, and indeed, to Him we will return. Those are the ones upon whom are blessings from their Lord and mercy, and it is those who are the rightly guided. Thank you. As you all know, tonight we are here to honor the lives of Liyad, Yusuf, and Rezan. I wanted to talk to you a bit about their lives and how we are just like them. Most of us here are college students. We are between the ages of 19 and 23. Leah was a 23 year old second year dentistry student. He had great things planned. He was going to go this summer. He was going to Turkey to <coughs> provide dental services and bring dental supplies to Syrian refugees. He was planning to go with his wife. Yusuf. And Yusuf was 21 years old. And she too was going to start the dentistry school this fall. She was described to be a bright and intelligent, beautiful girl who had her mind straight and she was determined to get what she wanted. She had actually, with her husband, they had launched the website to start the campaign for this summer. And visiting them from Raleigh was Yusuf's sister, Razan. Now, Razan is a sophomore, and a lot of us are around that time. You know, she's 19, and she was very, very into design, into art, and she planned to apply to architecture school. Now, these stories are people just like us, you know, starting off their lives and trying to understand who they are and how they can themselves can make a difference in the world. And us as college students, that's what we're doing right now. Leah is, and Yusuf and the Razan are, are, are us. We are them. And they, their legacy is, needs to be carried on by us. I think a very important point that we all need to mention and all of us are very well aware of is the accountability of the news media and how little attention this has gotten. And as you can see, we do have some attention <coughs> here now, but you know, that wouldn't be possible without us. Without us knowing that Razan and that Leah and and Yusuf, how important they are to us because we are exactly who they are. And we all know that had the inverse occurred and had the race or the religion been different, we would be in a com having a completely different day today. The Washington Post noted that after that even this many years, nine, after 9-11, 
that Muslims are the second most targeted group for hate crimes, that Muslims are five times more likely to get mur um, to face hate crimes than they did prior to 2001. And as a community, I call for us to be peaceful, for us to join together, and for us to commemorate their beautiful lives. We are, we are all here for their justice. We are all here to show how their legacies, and we will all continue it. There are right now efforts to go and raise money to continue the trip that they planned in, in Turkey. Right now, the Islamic Scholarship Fund, they need, today named the scholarship under their names for Muslim students. If you feel unsafe walking